Welcome to the guided tour for my ePortfolio, Technology as a Lens, created in the fall of 2012 as a capstone course for my MET degree. I created this ePortfolio to chronicle my learning throughout my journey in the Masters of Educational Technology from the University of British Columbia. My learning has been diverse and my professional growth has transformed both my teaching and my professional practice. The intended audience for my ePortfolio is my professors, MET peers, future MET students, and colleagues in the field of education. I view my ePortfolio as a living document, one which will continue to grow and change over time. The intent of this ePortfolio is to go beyond a mere presentation of artifacts created throughout my journey and instead integrate my learning through deep reflection and connection to theory, research, and my own teaching practice. My ePortfolio will link theory and research to teaching practice, reflect upon and synthesize my learning, demonstrate personal and professional growth, and showcase my technology skills. As part of the requirement for the construction of an ePortfolio, we were asked to choose a metaphor to help organize artifacts and facilitate deep reflections on our learning. The choosing of a metaphor was a difficult process, one which took much reflection on my journey, my learning, and my growth. I came to the realization that my learning was not linear that parts of courses integrated to construct different facets of the learning which when all put together led to a change in teaching and professional practice. The metaphor of white light passing through two prisms really seemed to capture the essence of my experience in the MET program. When white light passes through the first prism it is dispersed and it results in a seven component colors. The color spectrum will be used to represent different facets of the learning undergone in the MET program. When the spectrum of colors pass through the second prism, the colors are refracted and recombined to form a white light. Teachers reflect light in the form of facilitating and promoting student learning, and as this light is reflected through a prism, the use of educational technology, it is dispersed into the seven colors. The color spectrum refracts and recombines as it passes through the second prism, the reflective process, where the learning is synthesized. This synthesis results in the transformation of teaching practice as technology is effectively integrated to enhance, extend, and facilitate the construction of student knowledge. I have used the spectrum of colors formed as light passes through a prism to organize my ePortfolio and deepen my reflections on my artifacts. Personal philosophy, theoretical framework, pedagogy and teaching, authentic practice, Community of Practice, Effective Use of Technology, and Professional Development are the areas of focus in my ePortfolio. All of these facets connect through the reflection process that the creation of this portfolio has facilitated. You can navigate my EP by clicking on the tabs at the top of the page or by using the page links at the bottom of the page. The light dispersion page serves as a splash page for the different facets of my learning. Click on the image of the prism to go to the corresponding page.
Under the Rubric tab, you will find the rubric that I developed to assess my ePortfolio. A list of references that has been used throughout the creation of my ePortfolio can be found underneath the More tab on my reference page. My MET journey has come to an end, however my learning has not. My classroom and professional practice has been profoundly influenced by constructivist principles. I will continue to strive to make my classroom a place of inquiry where communication, collaboration, critical thinking and creativity are nurtured. In my role as lead technology teacher for my school, collaboration and communication with colleagues has formed the foundation for professional learning sessions. As Gerardano 2007 posits, the teacher is the gatekeeper of the classroom and professional development designed to change teacher practice must be guided by and integrated with teachers' existing values, valences, knowledge, and goals. My guided tour has come to an end. Now click on the About Me tab in my ePortfolio and begin your journey through my experiences. I hope that you enjoyed your guided tour.